let's go to the real thing. I would sit down at the table with you and I'd say, if you really want to be transformed, you have to live an intentional life. Mm-hmm. This is so simple, I don't want you to miss it. Most people don't lead their life, they accept their life. And when you accept your life, you are living on things that are not worthy of your time and effort and energy. And uh, you heard me say in a moment, everything worthwhile is uphill. The reason I want you to understand that is, to go uphill, you have to be intentional. Nobody ever went uphill by accident. You've never read a book on accidental achievements. You have to be intentional with what you do and who you are. And so I would just say to you, find your strengths, become very intentional, and, 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 and commit your life every day to, to it's all uphill. It's all uphill. And listen, it's very successful. He's, I mean, he's got great businesses, he's made a lot of money. Can I tell you something? It's still uphill for him. See, the great mistake we make is we think, I'm going to go out and make enough money, and, and there's a day when I'll just, I can relax and I can rest, and everything's going to be easy. Can I tell you something? The day that you have that day, you know, one of your children, you know, gets in an accident. You got, problems will never, ever leave you. Issues, obstacles, difficulties, they're always going to surround you. So you never get to that place where you've got it made. You're not supposed to got it made. You're supposed to add value to people, and it's all uphill. Oh my gosh. So the moment I understand that, then what happens is I commit myself to it, and then it becomes a beautiful uphill climbing life. Because one thing that's beautiful about going uphill is the scenery is really good. <laughs> so you gotta be intentional with it. So that's what I would say to them. Be, be intentional. Start today. And, and here's what's and here's the difference. Good intentions are overrated. Gosh. I know so many people, well, I, I'm going to do that. Yes, I, I think that's a good idea. I think I'm going to do that. So good, good, good intentions are the most, it's the most overrated phrase in the world. Mm-hmm. You've got to go from good intentions to good actions. Nothing happens until you've got good actions, and you won't have good actions until you're intentional with your life. Oh, my name's John, and I'm your friend, <laughs> and I'm yours. I'm so grateful you're my friend, yeah. and now you've made millions more friends that are yeah, so grateful for you. that connection with you. So thank you, thank you so much, right. brother. I mean, thank honestly. I, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Yeah. And uh, everybody, I know that you're grateful, too. Please do a few things I'm going to ask you. Number one, I'd like you to go get John's book because it's going to help you. He doesn't need to sell another book out of the... 30 million he sold. He wants to serve you and help you. So please go get leaderships. Also follow John on social media. You already follow me or you wouldn't be watching this, but I want to ask you to please refer the podcast to different people. Subscribe, leave a review, help them move up the rankings. And just remember every day on Instagram, I run the max out two minute drill. And what that means is when I make a post on my main feed, everybody makes a comment within the first two minutes. You go into a daily drawing. We pick a winner every day. Some of them win my book. They could win John's book, coaching calls with me, Max Out Gear, you name it. It's just to keep you engaged in the Max Out universe and in the community. So make sure you're making comments on my posts and staying engaged and connected with me. John, thank you so much for today. My pleasure. Exceeded my expectations. God bless you, everybody, and Max Out. <laughs>